So we check a supination, she's fine. If it weren't fine, if it could only go to here, we would ask her to turn her hand against us that way. She would pronate, turn her hand down just like that. Two, three, four, and then I take the wrist into a little more supination and then roll it back down again. Two, three, four. Notice I don't have her hand and relax. I don't have her hand. I don't want to get down here in the carpal tunnel and be doing any weird stuff there right now. Okay, again, two, three, four, five, and make sure she has supination all the way up, all the way. Make sure both of those bones, because it's the uh, uh, radius bone that's having to rotate around that ulnar, and it, uh, if it's not doing that, then you're going to have a lot of things that mimic a uh, tennis elbow. Let's go ahead and check to see if she has pronation. Say she does not have effective pronation, so we ask her to turn her palm up, supinate, and she turns her palm, no, I'm sorry, your, your, your arm up, your hand up, okay, supinate up, two, three, four, five, and relax, and I gently bring it into a little more pronation, and one more time, up, two, three, four, five, and relax, and I bring it into full pronation. Of course, she already had full pronation, supination. And what is the last one at the elbow that we have to worry about? Extension. 